Welcome back to the channel, it's Yoni Gaming, we're back with yet another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you top 10 rat holes on Gen 2. So some of these rat holes have been seen before, but there's a couple spots that are that I am adding on to them. Like this spot right here was showed in Outcast video, so go check out his video. But there is a few spots around it and beside it that I think is interesting, so... I should probably show the chords first, huh? So right here at 52, 67, and then right here on the map is going to be spot number one. Ignore that rat hole up there. I guess I forgot to take that off. But this is where it is on the map. Then you come over here, and you'll see this landing right here. So you will land right here. So if you walk over, there is a spot right here that you fall down. So... Oh, well, as you can see, you can fall out the sides, but people can't come in the sides. I do not condone mass rat holes at all. So, mainly these are being shown to uh, hopefully Ark will fix them, because this is broken. So, then you hop down in here and you can build. I'm not sure if you can build in this unofficial. A lot of these will be unofficial. There's a few that are official. Excuse me. But, what I wanted to add on is this spot right here so like you see how there's a wall like the ceiling right there where is it you gotta find the sweet spot it's somewhere all right well if you tech suit up here so you can tech suit through you used to be able to grapple and then when you land it it's actually a floor you can't go much further than this like you can come up here but it's like an extra layer. Like you can build up here and it literally pretty much is unreadable. Because once they come up here, they, they you, you, like it's, you can't see through the floor. But the good thing is you can actually in certain areas fall out. So you are able to still get out of that spot. But um, yeah, kind of broken, kind of a broken spot. And to go with spot number one, there is a spot right here that... I think it's a decent spot if you're not careful people can rocket it um, but you need sleeping bags to get to it so if sleeping bags are banned on your server then I guess this spot's not going to be for you unless you get a foundation and a bed place so you come up here there's this little entrance right here you cannot you cannot walk through this you can possibly knock yourself out but the best way to do this is to get a sleeping bag and place it as far as you can there and then if you come down to another sleeping bag i don't know why i put them on the ground and transfer oh which sleeping bag is it hey just heads up it's not that sleeping bag <laughs> so you travel to your other sleeping bag right you will spawn in. Your head will be kind of poking through this. All you got to do is crouch and you are in the middle. So in the middle of this spot right here, you cannot get out through there. So you have to have sleeping bags. You have to have beds. And then once you can get a transmitter placed in here. So you kind of need a transmitter to transfer in and out. It's kind of a spot just to hide some loot. And if you get some turrets right here along the edges, it's pretty hard to raid. But with that being said where'd my thing go with that being said let's move on to spot number two so with spot number two is going to come in at 50 and 50.1 and 67.2 here it is on the map it's kind of a multi spot too i'm just going to show you guys a couple of little hidden rat holes and spots when I can instead of making them their own spot so if you come up here this one's kind of known things will stick out of the top so careful with putting in forges you have to find the right spot but you can come in here you can put some fabricators you can put some turtles things like that you can put a decent amount of turtles or uh what am I trying to say turrets here and the only thing they can really soak them is tur uh, turtles I think they can get a stego right here on the ledge but have some hanging off turrets put them on like medium or low and then if you come right over here 
there is another spot on this side that is not as big but you still got a little bit of room a little bit of room to play around with but what a lot of people don't realize is that if you come through here to the middle of them you can actually make your way up here and yes it's really thin but it's also pretty hard to raid because you know you cannot walk stegos or anything through here and yes you can get foundations placed here you can even lower them and then get some turrets up on these ledges and this spot's pretty good too there's not a lot of room that's on the downfall but it's a decent spot now let's move on to spot number three With spot number three, it's going to come in at 44.5 and 79.3. Here it is on the map. So you'll come to this kind of like little tunnel entrance area right here. And then up in this corner, this is for like a solo or duo. There is this, it's actually a decently sized little rat hole. And for a solo player, this spot is pretty amazing to get started up in. You can build a few layers you can even come up in here and then just have turrets aimed right here i wouldn't build in here permanently uh it's a pretty good easy c-spin or rocket raid but it is a very nice spot to build at that i think would stick out actually you could get away with even placing a cliff plot in there if you wanted to just build flat so even that would work if you just wanted to build like here but i wouldn't advise that because it takes up a lot of your room but let's move on to spot number four so spot number four is also another one of those insane ones it's coming in at 38.7 93.4 here it is on the map you will have to come below this right here you have to come through this down here and yeah so you just follow it back all the way until you get to the rock formation keep going up and then up in this corner there is an insane rat hole back here like this rat hole is crazy in my opinion i never actually knew this one was actually here but um it is actually an insane spot like there's plenty of room there is a little spot right there where they could try to shoot rockets through but it's a really nice spot overall. There is plenty of room for a smaller uh, smaller tribe or even like a three, four man tribe if you build it right. Get a cliff plot up in this corner is where I would start. Get a decent base started here. Maybe put another cliff plot. Get some turrets aimed at this and you should be golden. Now let's move on to spot number five. Spot number five is coming in at 33.2, 93.3. Here it is on the map. This is gonna be one of the smaller ones for you guys. And uh, so you'll come here, you'll see this little thingy McBobber coming down right here. And there is this small little entrance you can fit your body through. And then if you drop down, like you can fit Tranodons up and above, I guess. But if you drop down, it's pretty hidden. Get you some forges, get some uh, smithies. Smithies going early game. You know, you can fit a decent amount of forges, smithy, put a wall ceiling, put your fabricators, and maybe just a couple turrets. Do not stay here though, because this is not an in game spot. This is one of those little kind of little rat hole hidden away spots to uh, just start up early wipe. You know, the fun parts arc. Now, let's move on to the next rat hole. Coming in at the 6th spot, we got 18.3, 89.9 on the GPS, right here on the map, up in the right hand corner. So if you come here, so another one of those small little entrances that you can actually either walk or fly back with a tech suit. And then you can get a decent little 2x2 actually back here or even a three by two but i wouldn't put them too far because what you want to do is have either pillars or ceilings and you can only fit one turret i mean you could try to squeeze you know two turrets beside each other but they're not going to shoot properly but if you have heavy tech it's such a decent spot like go heavy put another ceiling 
tech and just do it upwards and because they can't really fit anything through here they're gonna have to soak out there and if you put them on medium or low they might not even be able to soak from there so put them on like low and that would force the people to have to try to run through here and rock it and if you got techs and heavy turrets the spot is actually decently good to start out with and it's gen 2 it's easy to get tech so let's move on to the next spot all right moving on to rat hole number seven also got another crazy spot to show you guys 18.289 on the gps and right here on the map here you go so you'll come you can find uh, this little, I don't know what you want to call it, it's not really a cave, but this little flat spot on top of that. So you come back here and you look to the left. You can crouch and then it opens up into, I don't know if you would consider this mesh. I mean, yes, it looks mesh, but they cannot see in, you cannot see out. There is two entrances. So, like, I don't know if I'd consider this a mesh spot. I mean, it is, so build at this at your own risk. But it's a pretty nice spot overall. Um, like, you can build anywhere down here, and it is massive. Like, this spot is crazy. And the only entrances is on the two, and you see, uh, two sides, and you see how small those entrances are. So, defending this base is going to be crazy. So, build at this at your own risk. I'm sure this will get patched. You see this? Well, guess what? You can exit it. They cannot enter it. So, brokenly insane. But there's that spot. It's not ramble on too much. And let's move on to the next spot. Coming in at spot number 8. This is going to be at the underground water area. So, if you don't know how to get there, watch a video on how to get down here first. But it is at 40.5, 73.8. Right here it is on the map. And the thing that makes this spot decent is a lot of these unofficial servers have rafts, boats, things like that disabled. So if you're on a server like this, this spot is going to be amazing. So this spot is like this area down here is 90% water, but there is these little air pockets. And right here you have this nice flat area to build a decent tower. And then you have this little bit of a rat hole that goes up in. You can even build up in here, build a cliff plot. And decent amount of room but what really makes this one nice is it has this plateau area right here that is perfectly flat like i mean this is like perfectly flat for you guys put some turrets up here a decent spot if they do not have rafts on your server and then let's go to the next one so coming in at number nine we got 42.4 74.3 this is also at the underwater area here it is on the map so, like I said, mainly water. So these spots are really nice. Ignore this, it's just this. But if you come up in here, yeah, let me show you that. So you'll come up in here, it opens up into this pretty big rat hole up here. And this one is extremely nice because you can definitely fit cliff flats and still have, you know, room to go down. So you can get some hanging turrets off and this spot becomes pretty insane. You have multiple spots where you can put cliff plats up in here. Just be careful because there is this little entrance right here. But even if you put a cliff plat up in here and put a shandy right here as well, this spot is extremely nice for a duo trio tribe. So let's move on to the last and final spot. Coming in at spot number 10. This is going to be kind of an underwater rat hole. I had to put this teleporter here, but um, yeah, actually I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. So I can show you the full thing. Get out of here. So coming in at 43.3, 72.4, this is at the underwater spot but this is actually underwater here it is on the map so the reason this spot in my opinion is nice is because you have literally all oh my god you got all of these sharks to kill you yeah all right so like i was saying you have pretty much of this as just visual cover and clearly if you cover up your gen a little better 
But then you come back in here and it actually dips down into a nice little cubby hole where, you know, you can build a decently base, especially if your server has no clip. Put some turrets. It's going to be pretty hidden. Like most people is not going to be able to see it. So that's going to be spot number 10. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Sorry that it's a little, a uh, little bit of a mess. I haven't filmed one of these in a while, but hopefully you guys did enjoy it. I know this isn't as normal as my usual PVP, but like I said, I still want to include the rat hole videos because you know, that's kind of what I started on every once in a while. Leave a like if you want to see more and let me know what map you want to see more and I'll try to find some unseen or just a lot of rat holes people don't know about. This shark is eating me, but you know, it's okay because we got that God mode on right now. <laughs> Leave a like, subscribe, Thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Holy crap, that's a lot of sharks.